Hello, I'm Phil Mullen, energy psychotherapist and member of the Association for Comprehensive Energy Psychology, ASEP. I'm interested in the physics of the mind and I'd like to uh, share with people uh, some meditative uh, procedures that form components of the work that I do that uh, uh, people can try on their own, uh, see if they are helpful. So this video is to do with uh, uh, transformations in hyperspace and it draws upon uh, the Blue Diamond healing work that I've developed uh, but also uh, very much influenced by the work of uh, William Tiller, the late William Tiller, Emeritus Professor of uh, Material Science at uh, Stanford University. Uh, uh, let me just make a, uh, a, a brief disclaimer first. Um, I'm not selling anything uh, and I'm not offering medical or clinical advice of any kind. Uh, and uh, I'm not um, claiming that this is a treatment for any medical condition. Uh, having said all that, uh, some people do find the following uh, very helpful. Uh, now, what I'm, what I'm going to describe, the procedure I'll describe, um, it works best uh, uh, with issues that are not or are no longer held in place by psychodynamic conflict or internal objections or psychological reversals that are holding the issue in place. And that's, that's very often the case when people present with uh, problems that they want help with. Uh, consciously, they want to be uh, free of them, but uh, less consciously, there are internal objections, psychological reversals, that hold the problem in place and it's uh, it's really that which um, maintains people's difficulties without the uh, psychological reversals internal objections people would just keep on learning from experience and uh, be um, up updating and um, adapting as, as uh, best they can um, so uh, people's psychological problems need to be uh, uh, fully explored in conventional uh, free associative psychotherapy. And uh, ideally that can involve uh, energy psychotherapy um, because that includes procedures um, uh, for precise uh, testing of hypotheses uh, with e energy uh, testing. So, uh, what we do here is um, through the blue diamond, this energy center here under the collarbones, uh, it's like a portal into your own higher realms, higher healing dimensions. If you like a portal into uh, hyperspace, into dimensions beyond uh, space time. And we have access to these because we are all part of the cosmos. Uh, and our mind is not located uh, solely within the brain. It has some anchorage into the brain, but it's not, um, it's not restricted uh, to the brain. Uh, and our minds can influence uh, physical reality. And there's plenty of research uh, illustrating that. Uh, that point is inherent in uh, quantum physics. Um, William Tiller's work, uh, rigorous research, powerfully uh, illustrates the point. Uh, there's also um, Dawson Church's recent book, uh, Mind to Matter, that uh, covers uh, a lot of these things. Okay, so um, before we go into this procedure, very brief explanation. So our 
uh, minds, our experiences and our life patterns in three-dimensional space-time uh, are all uh, have a representation uh, in a higher realm. This is William Tiller's model. They all have a, repu uh, um, a representation uh, in what Tiller calls R space as opposed to D space, which is his name for our ordinary space time realm. And uh, it's a kind of uh, what mathematically or in, in physics is called a Fourier transformation, um, a phenomenon that extends in space and time uh, can have a representation as a pure waveform. And in Tiller's model, that's how it is at this higher R space that is outside uh, space and time, outside the, uh, the constraints of the uh, speed of light. And in that R space, we can uh, apply um, healing waves. Um, Okay, so, well, let's get straight to it. So, if you'd like to try this, a couple of fingers of your, I think, preferably left hand on this blue diamond energy center, which is just under the collarbones, just under where a tie knot would be. And it's the center of the 12 point grid. Don't need to go into that here. Uh, but it it provides a direct pathway to many levels of higher realms. And then your other hand can rest on the heart chakra just underneath. So I'm going to be going into the blue diamond field myself. So I invite you to join me in the blue diamond field. Just focus for a moment on the blue diamond here under your collarbones, however it appears to you. Blue and crystalline, a pure silver white center and shimmering with silvery rainbow frequencies. Just let your consciousness enter and bring into the blue diamond field anything that troubles you. anything in your body, in your mind, in your life. Any recurrent issue or pattern that troubles you, just bring it into the blue diamond field. For healing guidance and resolution in whatever is the optimum way, Now, just with our intention, we're going to lift it up, requesting a Fourier transformation to the higher realm, to our space, transforming it to the higher realm. Now we apply the healing waves, request the application of the healing waves. And now we request that it be transformed to an even higher realm, the highest realm, to the Unisai healing from the Unisai, by the Unisai. And notice any words or images that come to you that are personal to you in your own process. You 
may now be contained by a vast vertical flame of light. Perhaps soft yellow. And then surrounded by a soft green vertical flame, pastel green. And pastel pink. And all surrounded by a vivid silver flame. And there is blue in the picture as well, a blue flame. And now we request the activation and flow of deltrons. Deltrons, the energies, the waves, the particles that transmit between the levels. Deltrons flowing into your blue diamond, into your navel and throughout your being. Sparkling silver rainbow particles bringing the transformation down into your physical form, into your physical life transformed. Then just gently bring your awareness back. Uh, I like to think of this process as rather uh, analogous at a higher dimensional level to um, uh, a, a process dis described in um, uh, 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 psychoanalytic literature uh, by uh, an analyst called Wilfred Bion, who talked about the way in which um, the, the infant's uh, distress is communicated into the mother, into the mother's mind. The mother takes it into her mind and feels it and applies her mind to it and then responds in a helpful way, a soothing way, a thoughtful way to the infant. So takes the, uh, the infant's communication of distress and transforms it and gives it back in a transformed way. And I think this process of transformation in hyperspace is like a, a higher dimensional version of that and of course the same fractal patterns do occur I think at every level of the universe um, anyway I hope you've um, enjoyed um, experiencing that and um, uh, hope maybe it's uh, of some help to you uh, thanks for watching. Bye for now.